In the face of threats from Iran, U.S. President Joe Biden says Washington's commitment to Israel's security is ironclad. Army Radio is reporting that the Air Force has conducted exercises in Cyprus in recent days in preparation for a potential Israeli strike in Iran. More on this from ILTV's Steve Leibovitz. President Biden's strong comment of ironclad support for Israel comes amid growing strains in Israel-U.S. ties after the airing of an interview in which Biden urged Israel to agree to a weeks-long ceasefire in Gaza. We we'll also discussed developments in the Middle East, including our shared support for a ceasefire and a hostage deal, and urgent efforts to deal with the humanitarian crisis that exists in Gaza. We also want to address the Iranian threat, to launch a significant, they're threatening to launch a significant attack on Israel. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Let me say it again, ironclad. The comment from President Biden came during a press conference with the president of Japan. It also came amid Iranian threats to retaliate for Israel's airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus that killed leaders of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. According to Bloomberg, the U.S. believes a major attack by Iran on Israel is imminent and could happen in the coming days. Citing unnamed U.S. intelligence experts, the report said it was a matter of when rather than if Tehran will attack. But it is still unclear whether the attack will come from Iranian territory or one of its proxies. The report adds that Tehran could use high-precision missiles or drones in its assault. Iranian leader Khamenei has said Israel must be punished for allegedly attacking the Iranian consular building in Damascus earlier this month. Amid threats of an Iranian attack on Israel, Army Radio is reporting that the Air Force conducted exercises in Cyprus in recent days in preparation for a potential Israeli strike in Iran. Back in Washington, where President Biden expanded on his recent discussions with Prime Minister Netanyahu that included criticism of his policies in conducting the war in Gaza. And uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, uh, Bibi and I had a long discussion. He agreed to do several things that related to, number one, getting more aid, both food and medicine, into Gaza, and reducing significantly the attempts, the civilian casualties in any action taken in the region. Biden stressed that efforts are continuing to reach a deal between Israel and Hamas for the release of Israeli hostages in exchange for an extended ceasefire and placed the onus on Hamas.